Hey, welcome back to Hostify. My name's Alex, and today we're going to have a look at the basics of unified cloud adoption. So if you're getting started into using Hostify or any other cloud-provided unified application servers, you'll need to adopt the devices using SSH and get the devices to talk to the cloud server. If you're using UXG Pro, this guide will not be for you. There's a separate video on our channel, which we'll link in the top right-hand corner and in the description down below to share how to adopt the UXG Pro. Uh, that's got a very different method on how to do it. It's mostly done in the GUI uh, with different ports and that sort of thing. So for the basics of Unify Cloud Adoption, you'll have to SSH into your Unify Access Point, uh, give it the URL and the port number for your controller, and you can go from there, and then have to set the setting form and you can log into the controller that way. So in this video, we've got a UAP AC Lite that we're going to adopt to our Hostify powered Unify controller, and we're going to show you how to do it. So first thing to do is find the device IP address for your Unify AP. Now, I've got a TP-Link uh, Amada router setup uh, into plug into a Unify switch, and then off that Unify switch is my UAP AC light. So what I'm going to do is go to the client section of TP-Link Amada. Uh, obviously, if you've got a U UXG router, this will pop up by itself. Um, if you've got a third-party like uh, ISP provided router, you'll have to log into that device, look at the DHCP clients, and get the IP address for your AP. So I know that. One of these two is going to be one. One's my switch and one's my AP. So at the moment, my switch is on 0 0.3. So my switch is already adopted to the controller. So I know that 0 0.2 is going to be my Unify AP. Again, if you've got a UXG Pro pre-adopted to your Unify controller, you don't need to do any any other work. It's like uh, it's pretty magically. It will as soon as you plug a Unify AP in, it will get DHCP off the UXG Pro. The UXG Pro will then pass down the cloud adoption details to that UAP and then it'll just pop up in the controller. Sometimes it might not be on the specific site you're using. So sometimes if you plug a Unify AP in, it will not it might not always go on the same site as the UXG Pro. So just bear that in mind. If you're not seeing a device pop up immediately, uh, that might be the problem. Uh, go onto one of the other sites, check the devices in there. If it is, you can move the device to a new site and then you can go from there. So I've got 0 0.2 is that Unify AP I've got. Um, what you can do is go directly to the terminal of uh, your Mac OS device or the uh, putty of uh, a Windows device. Uh, but for the purpose of this video, what I'm going to do is use the built-in um, debug console from the Unify switch. Uh, I would do it from this machine directly, but the screen recording uh, won't work properly if I do that. So you actually need to enable debug tools first. We'll go to System. Administration, or oh, well, system advanced, and then debug tools are, are on now. So we'll apply that. Go back to devices, go to the Unify switch. Uh, we've got debug now. So let's have a look at our commands and see what we need to do first. So we're going to SSH into the Unify AP. So SSH, username plus the IP address. So let's do that now. Okay, I'm logged into the uh, the SSH terminal of the Unify switch. So I'm sort of SSH from the server into the switch, and I'm going to SSH from the switch into the Unify IP. Again, this process will be different if you're doing it directly from your PC. This process will be useful if you've got a Unify IP in a remote site that you've got someone to plug in. There's already a switch adopted, not a UXG router, um, and you can SSH into the uh, AP directly from the switch, which is quite cool. So first command is to go SSH and then UBNT at the IP address for the AP, which is 192.168.0.2. Going to hit return on that. And it's going to say, there's a fingerprint. Do you want to continue connecting? We can press yes. Password, because it's a default, uh, it's on default software, will be UBNT as well. And then we're into the UAP AC Lite. Let's see what's next on our commands. So we've put the IP address in, we've put the password in. And then we're now logged into the device. Again, same process on Windows. Uh, and then the next process is getting the device adopted. So once you've logged into Unify device using the steps above, next is to tell the device what controller to talk to. So my controller is M100038. So I'm going to copy this this uh, URL here. So I've got my URL saved from my Unify controller. So we have to do set dash inform HTTP. Remember to use HTTP, not HTTPS. Uh, and then 8080 inform. So we're going to do that now. So copy that in. I'm going to get rid of the I'm going to put 8080 in there. I'm going to change the S to a uh, P. 
get rid of that. And we're going to put in front set dash in form. And then I'm just going to double check there's nothing else to do. And then forward slash in form. Okay. After the 8080. Forward slash in form. Hit return. Adoption request sent to the server. And we can already see that the UAP AC light is ready to adopt. Let's just check what we need to do now. Um, and we can set the same form. So if we go back a page and click adopt. Click adopt device. That will go through the process. The unified device will go from solid white, it'll go solid blue once it's adopted the controller. So let's refresh that page. Uh, it's adopting now. So after a few minutes, the UAP AC light has now gone to online status. Uh, in the past, you'd usually have to give the AP two sets of commands. So you'd have to do inform and then inform again afterwards. However, that seems to have changed uh, since we did the last video. So that's pretty good. Uh, if you do need your details, you can get your username and password for your portal at app.hostify.com. So that's how you add a new AP or switch to Hostify powered unified controllers. Again, any other devices and switches you add, each one will have to be added manually to the controller. But you do have, if you do happen to have a USG or UXG Pro, uh, that whole process is automated. You plug it in, it'll get DHCP from the UXG Pro, and then it will appear by itself in the controller, which is a pretty good, pretty good experience, really. So I hope that's been a helpful look at how to do cloud adoption with Unify. If you want to learn more about Hostify, have a look at Hostify.com. We do hosting for Unify, UISP, and TP-Link Amada. Contact our team at support at Hostify.com for any help and queries with any devices from Ubiquiti and TP-Link. And check out Hostify Pro, where you can hire an expert to help with your project. Check out the link at Hostify.com forward slash pro for more information. Thanks for watching this video. My name's Alex, and we'll see you again next time. <laughs>